Why, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jokes and Beers Open Mic Night. One's name is Rupert Bartholomew Reddington III, Esquire, and I'll be your host for this evening's festivities. On you. Sure. Now, an open mic night is a night where comedians try out new material. How intriguing. How intriguing. So I can tell you there will be some highs and there will be some lows. But there will also be some middles. No, 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 no. It will be a fantastical oracle journey. The only thing I can guarantee is there will be an awful lot of jolly good poppycock. Now, let's meet some of our lovely audience members. You, sir, what corner of the planet do you derive yourself from? I say, where are you from there, boy? Answer. For where? France, oh, lovely. Where about in France? Uh, the north. The north. Where in the north? <laughs> oh, lovely. My, my butler's cousin did a gap here. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you lovely little flower. Where are you from? Belarus. <laughs> oh, very nice. I've been to Belarus. I've been to Minsk. It's true, you know. <laughs> I met a pen pal over there, so I went to visit. <laughs> Uh, hmm. And you, young, lovely, lovely little lady, where are you, what do you like most about Barcelona? Uh, the art. The art, there. What about the art? Do you go to museums? Yeah. Very good culture is always good for the mind. Anyway, lovely ladies and gentlemen, before we commence the show, I need to go through a, for, a few formalities. Because after all, without rules, what are we? Nothing but animals. No, no, no. Not me, sir. Not me. This show works on a donation basis, so please give generously. And I'm sure if one speaks with one's accountant, you can get a donation on a tax benefit. No, no, no. So it's good for everyone to give generously, you know. Thank uh, you very graciously. We also have Bism, a card scanner, and we have a money pocket. A money bucket, sorry. But like I say, we have Bism and a card scanner. After all, this isn't 1824. No, 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 no. After the show, there will be some funny little thing called happy hour. It's for the peasantry who can't afford full price tickets, so <laughs> stick around and fill your glasses. Quite, quite fun. Hmm. Don't forget to drink. This show is a lot funnier, notwithstanding intoxication. The bar has some very, very fine beverages and a lovely assortment of teas from the Empire. There's no teas from the Empire, sorry. What? No keys from the Empire? How uncivilized, I say. How bloody uncivilized. What is this? No key? Jeez. They also have some lovely snacks and food. No scones and clotted cream, but nonetheless, some lovely food. Now, it's time to get on with the festivities. For our first performer, please warm your hands together for our traveling comedian. Traveling? Wait, he's foreign. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, please welcome to the stage Donatus. I'm thinking maybe this chap learned English from Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was watching in the shower, hiding from the vegans. Anyway, our next thespian is a very good chap. All the way from the back of the room, walking towards me now. Please welcome David. Give it up for both. Thank you, David. Thank you. Now, because of the uh, suffragettes, women can also perform comedy these days. I know, infernally queer. How infernally queer. But our next up is a beautiful little flower. So please walk your hands together for Valerie. Yeah. Find a seat, find a seat. 
Now our next, next young comedian is an awfully chipper performer, all the way from another foreigner, all the way from another country. Please welcome Annie! Splendiferous. Addy was talking a lot about accents, but to be honest, there is only one real accent, and that's the Queen's English. Yes. <laughs> now, the, the pharaohs, the pyramids, and the awfully and clever industrial use of slavery all originate from Egypt. Our best performer, however, does not. So you have the Colosseum, you have these pharaohs, the Caesars, and you have the awfully clever industrial use of slavery from his country. Please welcome Elger Wait, wait, it's got to take place, isn't it? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Please welcome Elger Wet! Woo! Hello, hello, what, what? Very good, very good comedy. Comedy. Now it's time for a break. Perfect time to wet one's whistle. The bar has some lovely drinks. If you're going to leave, don't forget to give a donation, please. And we'll see you again in 15 minutes, not a second less. <laughs> What do you do for penance and pittance? Penance and pittance. Tech? I don't think I've heard of that before. What's tech? A computer. What's a computer? Is that an instrument? It's like a typewriter. Oh, okay, I understand. So, so you're a scribe? Yeah. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, look at that shine. That is a marvellous shine. <laughs> so funny. We'll never get back up here. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to offend. That was not one's intention. No, 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 no. I have lots. Oh, intention, I mean, not here. Anyway, for our next comedian, we have a lovely young man all the way from America, from Florida, a true Floridian. So his teeth are lovely and white. Please welcome everyone to the stage, Kevin! Hello. Hi. Obviously the point of hitting the children is because they're common. <laughs> anyway, our next comedian speaks a lot of double Dutch. That's not just because he was born there, but he also speaks double Dutch. Please welcome to the stage, a wonderful gentleman, Silvano! Yes, I like beach, but I like the private beach. I like, I like to only socialize with people of my pedigree, I hope you understand. I can, I can, I can say you should like Now, uh, our next performer is a lovely little hummingbird. A very funny woman. Uh, the lovely, ever lovely. Love Lodge, please come to the stage. Good evening. Her. Thank you. I'm not quite sure why she was licking her cigarette, but anyway. Very stylish or very old, right? Uh, what else was she doing? I can't, I can't think. Our uh, next uh, comedian, one knows well, is a very funny man. When he's performing, I often feel a slight quivering, and I find I need to clean myself, and I find history doomed to bleed to repeat itself. So, please welcome to the stage, Dennis Vanessa! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I have a frog in my throat. I just need to have a little sip. Pure vodka is the best. <laughs> now our next comedian is an American fellow, a very good gentleman, a wonderful actor, extremely talented along the guitar, and a funny soul. He's not John Malkovich with a steroid persuasion. He is the great Curtis. Now, we all heard Kurt talking about America. Stolen land, America, stolen land. That was bloody British. He stole it from us. 
Anyway, I've been uh, told to uh, give a little reminder. I've been told to remind everyone not to forget to donate, because if you don't give money, or else, or else we'll be finished by crippling and ravishing debt. So basically, don't forget to donate. Now, our final and last performer is a young mucker from Scotland, but he is a very funny man, so we can't hold being a savage against him. <laughs> but he is most definitely a savage. Please welcome to the stage, Ian Now. He's not wearing one today, but I have actually seen under his kilt. Oh, and he is a true Scotsman, believe me, believe me. Please welcome here, the wonderful. <laughs> now, as I said before, me and Ian actually know each other. And he never told me he was homosexual before. I think that's very responsible. I would never have let him make love to my virgin ass if I'd known he was gay. Anyway, that brings us to the end of our fine festivities. Please give a warm hand to all of the performers, and we hope to see you next week or another Saturday. Don't forget the happy hour at the bar. Thank you, everyone.